Howdy everybody, Mike McCoy. Look who I got with me, the mother. <laughs> she didn't want to do this, but I conned her into it. He wouldn't shut up. <laughs> and today, me and her is going to tell y'all the secret to a happy marriage. We've been married 45 years, happily. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> They are no secret to a happy marriage. It ain't, it ain't some big mystery. It's, it's luck, I think. <laughs> luck, <laughs> luck has to, well, you got to start out with, you got to get somebody that she ain't wanting to kill, they ain't wanting to kill you. And Most of the time. Not wanting to kill you is very important, very important. And... You know, it's like anything else, you just got to work at it. If you've got a business, you got to work at it. Or if you're a farmer, whatever your business is, you just got to work at it. You can't just... It gets hard sometimes, too. It does. <laughs> and, and, and I think in today's times, it's just so much easier just to walk away than it is to try to make it work. Don't you? Mm-hmm. And you got to have a knockdown drag out every once in a while. That's just a rule. Oh, yeah. If you didn't ever get to make up, I mean, what would life be worth? That's right. And, and, and a lot of people, they'll run out here and get married and have two or three young'uns, and then boom, we're just gone. And the young'uns is just kind of out on their own. And they didn't have no dog in that fight. I mean... I don't care what anybody says, a young and needs a mama and daddy. For I never did know my daddy and mother here, as far as up and down, I'm about half crazy because of that. I don't think I'm over a quarter crazy because of it, but now that's high. No, nah, it's a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll blame it on that anyway. Yeah, that's you know, you know, you gotta blame it issues, on Issues. Daddy yeah. issues. It ain't just girls that can have daddy issues. Yeah. Boys can too. And my poor mama, she was at least half crazy. Maybe. No, she wasn't. Was she, was she about 25%? Yeah. <laughs> but, We're all uh, crazy in our own way. Some of us more crazy than others. But, yeah. You know. But it can be a good crazy, you know. Yeah. But you got to have well, similar crazy, goals. I think. Yeah. If you got similar <laughs> goals, you know, you you can you can make it work, can't yeah. you? Yeah. See, yeah. like mother likes to saw mill and I have to like to saw mill. Mother likes to work. I uh, have to make you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know you gotta compromise you. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's just it, it, it's work for us. How many years we work side by side? Several. I don't know. Thirty something. Yeah, something. over thirty. I know. Probably you thirty-five. Live with one another twenty-four-seven. Yeah. Now oh, she's my caregiver. No. She's my wet nurse. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's. Uh, and I don't bet. go to bed mad. No. So we do some, we have sometimes, but you always, it don't matter how mad you get, you got to snuggle. Yeah. And we've never not slept with one another unless I was in the hospital or you was in the hospital or yeah. whatever. You, you could know? probably, you could probably count on two hands how many nights we've spent together, can't you? Not together. I mean, you yeah. know, I, 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 yeah. apart. Yeah. Let me get it right. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and this getting mad and leaving ain't worth a flip. Stay and fight it out. You know, I was always afraid to leave Fred. She will not let me back in. <laughs> you know, get locked out of your own house. That'd be awful. Or get shot. <laughs> or get shot trying to get in your own house. But, and. Fear's got a lot to do with it. <laughs> yeah, fear and common sense goes a long way. There ain't nothing worse than a pissed off woman with a nine millimeter. But, <laughs> it gets you attention. But we've, we've made Butcher it work. Butcher knife gets attention too. And. There's a few things I'd change if I could, but not many. And 
most of them's bad business decisions. <laughs> and her trying to tell me I was screwing up, but I would not listen. She's really more business minded than I am. But I'll take a chance quicker than she will. And if it works, it's fine. If it don't work, I never hear the end of it. <laughs> right? right. <laughs> but uh, we've had a we've had a good time together. I and hope we, we have several more. We ain't done with it yet, are we? No, I ain't through with you yet. But uh, I told somebody the other day. I said I didn't have you broke in. Good night. Won't worry nothing. Her her daddy moved back to Foster. He had been gone for years. And I, I, I kind of knowed him, but I didn't. And uh, there was a boy Tucker out to date. He said, "Shut up, God, that's a hot little Shut old thing." Shut up, Michael. You said you was gonna behave. I am behaving. No, you ain't. I seen her and I thought, "My God, <coughs> she's good looking." Oh man, a buddy of mine seen her and her sister. I, I, I thought her sister. Jeanette was the baby. I didn't even know about her and her brother. They're at the barn where they moved. We didn't and, move in the barn. But no, but it. next next to the road, there's over there doing something. Else. And we pulled over naturally like teenage boys to talk, you know. And I was just pitiful. I was pitiful. To this day, I can tell you exactly what she was wearing. I can tell you what she looked like. And I was just mortified. I, just, I thought, God, that's the prettiest girl I've ever seen in my life. I'd just give anything to get a date with her. And at that time, I was a dating your first cousin, wasn't I? And uh, they, they lived just real close to one another. And I didn't particularly like her, but you know, something to do. But anyway. I followed the bus up one day and her cousin, I stopped, her cousin got in the car and we was talking a little bit and she said, uh, Mary Ruth likes you, said, uh, she said she'd like to date you. I don't remember saying that, but anyway. <laughs> she ain't gonna admit nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh really? She said, yeah. I said, well, I guess I better go. I got something I got to do. Boy, as fast as that old Ford Fairlane would go, I went down there and stopped and got your attention some way, I don't know, and uh, asked you for a date. And the rest is history. Yeah. I think we broke up, what, two or three times in four yeah. years. It's usually your fault. Yeah. <laughs> Got roving eye, but, <laughs> but yeah, and, and and during that time, and I'm proud of this. Her house was probably what, hundred yards from the road, I not over there. Is. Never once did she have to walk to the house alone. I walked her to the house every night, and we'd stand there at her steps. And talk and smooth. And stuff. Yeah. <laughs> in her daddy bedroom was right there next to the steps. You can hear him in there snoring. Boy, if he ever stopped snoring, I got gone right there. <laughs> but I think it was one time that I nearly broke my foot. It, she had to walk home alone. I couldn't walk. And uh, I sat there and watched her if she got to the house. Had to protect my baby. I was afraid there'd be some other old hairy legged boy down there wanting to talk to her, you know. <coughs> you throwed my ring away, remember that time when I was. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, it was. I bought her a Gordon Steady ring. It was really pretty. And this was like back in 1973, 72, when $100 was worth a whole lot more than it is now. Well, I bought that's that. about time. all you made a week, wasn't it? I didn't make that much a week. It's what I made in two weeks. <laughs> And I bought that thing for her. It had diamonds in it and little hearts and everything. I thought it was just the prettiest thing there was. It was. And uh, I come up through there and she was talking to a boy. I got off the bus and somebody stopped behind the bus. Yeah, it's Doug Prophet. Well, anyway. Poor Doug's dead now. But anyway, 
Uh, and me and her got into it about that. I said, well, just give me my ring back. So she I did. Jerked it <laughs> off the finger. And their driveway went down through there. And I just thought I'll flip it out the window like a macho man. And I'll watch where it goes. And soon we get calmed down a little bit here, I'll get it and give it back to her. I seen the sun glint off of that thing when it hit the ground. And to this day, it's never been seen again. I looked and looked for it. I never could find uh, it. I won't take a metal detector over there. And if I can find the people that own the property, I might do that one of these days. But I've never I've never witnessed nothing like that. For I had a good plan for it. it was packed gravel. It wasn't just loose gravel. That's what you get for trying to be macho. <clears throat> well, I had a plan. And it didn't work out. And it seemed like I was called for it. Dumb eyes. Probably. Among other, she's got a mouth on her and she gets mad. <laughs> But yeah. Well, don't and, make me mad, and you ain't gonna have no problem with it. And, and now this this is probably the best advice I know to give any any of you people, you young people especially. If you're in the hospital room with your wife, and she has just had the baby, I mean like five minutes ago, and you rub her belly, and it's kind of flabby. Don't don't never look at them and say I don't want a flabby bellied wife. You didn't say that in person. You called me and told me that. If I'd have said it in person, you'd have killed me. So you ain't got a flabby bellied wife. <laughs> well, my belly ain't flabby. <laughs> it's a little tight. But I get reminded of that to this day, and that was how many years ago? Forty-three. Yeah. Made her mad. Furious. I've apologized and sent cards and bought enough roses to fill a greenhouse. And You're wasting your time and money. None of it works. No. So don't never do that. And uh, I'll there's a lot of do's and don'ts. You know, so most just of do the, the best you can. Yep. If you get mad, just stay and fight it out. Don't leave. That's the worst thing you can do. I don't know where these people go whenever they get mad and leave. I don't know if my parents wouldn't let me come back home. I wouldn't go back home. <laughs> Granny would say, Granny would say, I told you about them <laughs> holes before you got married. You ain't coming back here. <laughs> my grandmother said, you get married in them holes, they'll work you to death. She wasn't fur from wrong. You can't work somebody to death. You've come close you're like, to time. You're, you're like a mule. You stub up. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but I mean, it's just. Just do the best you can. We better shut up. What's your baby. best memory of being married, Mother? Just all of it. I like to be with you. Yeah. So you can't die and leave. I ain't going to no time soon. I guess my best memory is us buying her first house. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. I like that house. I like yeah. his house. I yeah. ain't too hard to please. <coughs> no, she's easy to please. So. Cheap to keep. So. I remember the very first time we went and got groceries. I thought I have arrived. Buying groceries. Remember that? Yep. I remember going to the Justice of Peace and he said, Do you? And I said, Uh huh, not we was married. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe five dollars. Was it five or ten dollars? Five, I think. Best five dollars you ever spent. Just a down payment, I'll tell you. <laughs> we better go there get tired of listening to this crap. Let's see, yeah. Let me put my glasses. I'm blind. I don't know how many minutes we've been doing this. Long enough. Uh, we can go just a little bit longer. No. You getting antsy? Mm -hmm. She's people, a good judge of video. People, she people says keep it rolling. Them. People click off on you. And they will. You've got to be, be interesting. But you're pretty interesting. Mother. No, not really. Yeah. Tell a dirty joke or something. No. Uh, no. I don't know no jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, don't you? <laughs> Did it tickle you and we started sawmilling? Yes, I like sawmilling. Remember the first log we saw? Yes, took us all day to do it, and I thought, well, golly, bum, we screwed up. <laughs> I thought we'd made a major mistake. How in the world did it take us long? To see I that? don't know. Lord, how many I was wore out. She helped me log for, what, two or three years? Yeah. Made her mad one morning. She was throwing rocks at me, going up the side of the hill, me and the bull. I could hear them hitting the back of it. Yeah. You put me on that dozer and we was a, 
you was on the skitter and we had them three logs and I had never been on that dozer. Uh-uh. And you was you come back there and you was telling me how to do it and I was doing the best I could. And the third time you come back there, we got out of there, didn't we? Oh yeah, you about to turn me over. I'd I dive off that thing in a briar patch. Yeah. There's one briar patch in that whole field and that's you right where I live. Be yeah. so big. When you're around the main woman, you gotta learn to move pretty well, I was quick. Taught, I was taught that. You, you, I was doing the best I could do when you were treating me like I was two years old. That old way in farm tractor we had you about run over at me of it one time. <laughs> I, I told her to put it in gear and she didn't push the clutch in. She put it in gear and it rolled halfway up my leg. Me screaming like a little girl. But I ain't never hurt you real bad. No, you ain't brought blood by the time or two. Nah. I thought that's pretty good. I ain't never broke, broke nothing, I don't think. Uh -huh. so. No, I didn't. I, I've hurt you worse than you've hurt me. I had that molder going and throw that stick out oh, and crushed yeah, your little that, thumb. That wasn't your fault. That was mine. I had no stuck that in there. I didn't know. You look so pitiful laying there white as a ghost and your thumb a pointing south and your <laughs> hand pointing north. <laughs> Two or three screws later, you're as good as you. Yeah. Well, I guess we, we had their yeah, wind this up. We appreciate you watching. Thanks. I hope all of you have a good day. Yep. And we'll talk at you later. Bye-bye.